Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Persimba. So we drew Miles Morales last week from Into the Spider-Verse. Now I said that we would draw Gwen. So let's go ahead and draw Gwen Stacy from Into the Spider-Verse or Spider-Man in general. Let's just lay out the basic body structure for right now. So we're gonna start with her head. Very similar to all Spider-Mans, they all have the same basic shape of head. And I'm actually going to give her more of an angular jaw. Go down from the side, so more of an angle here. Bring this down, and then her neck will be going out this way. And then actually for this pose, her shoulder is going to be going up alongside of her chin. And it's going to be coming out this way. After this, I'd like to go ahead and just make a circle right now for this part of her arm. So we just know that's the top of her arm. And then we're gonna actually go down from her neck and we're gonna jump off to the side, bring out this side of her chest, and then go in, and then start curving this way. Curving off to the side. And curving inwards and I'm gonna jump back up to where we started her shoulder bring this down and it's gonna go in towards the middle part it's gonna go in towards her abdomen and then we're gonna bring out and then on this side we're going to, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna jump in and then bring down this side. And then her legs are gonna be going in two different directions. So I'm gonna start with one leg over here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm gonna close off her body right here because her legs are gonna be going in different directions. And then I'm gonna jump off to the side with this leg. And I'm just gonna make the basic shape of a thigh. Get down to her kneecap and then you're gonna go up and back in which is her calf is tucked underneath her leg and then we got one ballet shoe so I'm gonna go out circle this in and then go into her leg for right now then I'm gonna jump over here with this leg this thigh is gonna go in Start going down. We have a kneecap right here. And then her calf is going to be going, it's actually going in because she's got a perfect pointed pose, ballet pose. I'm gonna go into the calf, go in to the knee and back up into the knee. And then this perfect point is actually gonna curve downwards and then back into her ankle. There's that leg. Let's jump, jump back up into this arm. So this is her shoulder, it's gonna go down. And then we have this part of her arm, like her bicep. And then we're gonna curve upward for her forearm. Curve back down. Then we're going to go ahead and give her her hand, which is turned towards us. So I'm just gonna block that off for right now. Then jumping back up to here, we're gonna curve this upwards for the rest of her arm. And then make this part of her arm. We have her forearm going up this way. And then her wrist. And then her hand. 
And we're just gonna circle that off for right now and we'll fill that in later. Okay, let's start jumping in and filling in some details. All right, so let's start with Spider Gwen's face. So we got a really big, really big eyes once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her that eye guideline. And what's going to happen with her eyes is I'm gonna start with the left one first, bring down the side. and then bring down this side with her eye. So we have one eye there. Keep it on the same eye guideline. Then bring up this side. The thing you want to keep in mind when it comes to the Spider-Man eyes is that they look like pointed lemons. I'm going to bring in her face just a little bit. So I'm going to bring in her face just a little bit more to give her more of a pointed chin. So I give her that pointed chin, still have that angular jawline. So I'm going to go up alongside of her face, keep this angular jaw, and then go up and round off the rest of her head. But I just want to give a little bit more space over here and make her face a little bit more proportionate. Now I'm going to jump to the middle of her head and over so I'm going to go to the middle bring down this side and then curve this around and just go into her shoulder behind her shoulder curve this around go up get a little angular curve down Go outwards, curve down, and into that place where we made her neck on the side. Then from here, I'm gonna go up and make more of a hood. So I'm just gonna go from the side of her face, make more of a like a rounded point at the top bring it down just go straight down into the hood and like kind of round off the side and then go in so I go in down do the same thing kind of run around the side of the hood so let's start with this her arms before we go into her costume so let's start with this one right here on the left side. We're rounding out her shoulder. Her shoulder's going in. And we're gonna make this just rounder and just kind of make everything look a little bit more smooth. So we'll jump on this side and we'll connect her arm on this side. So we're just gonna connect it into here. And make this nice and round at the bottom. Jump over here, make this nice and round up here. And then what we're going to do for her hand is it's curved outwards towards us. So one pointer finger is gonna go out. And then we're gonna go in with one finger, and then in with this finger, 
and then this finger is going to go around. So these two fingers, the middle finger and the ring finger, are doing the basic spider pose of a hand. I'm going to jump around the side of this part of her hand, bring out her pinky, and then I'm going to jump out to the side of the left side of her hand and then bring out her thumb. I'm going to bring out this part so we make more of a knuckle on this side and then go into the hand. Invention. So this one's gonna go un under her armpit, across her arm, and then curve inwards. So with her spider web, it's all the same with all the spider men, how that pattern goes. I'm just gonna go, we go ahead and give the lateral lines. And you see, I'm trying to follow her muscles. So it gives it a little bit more dimension instead of just going straight, I round them off. So instead of just going straight across, it looks more realistic if you do that. And then you go in and you create the spider web by making the rounded lines between each one of them. Same thing goes for inside of her hood, but what the lines are doing is they're gonna go in, so I'm gonna make them rounded again. Just like make them wave, wavy lines so that's more realistic instead of just going straight across. Make more of some wavy lines. And I'm going to make the spider web connect those so she has pink lining to her hoodie and her webs colors are blue they're like an aquamarine blue almost Now let's jump to this arm, which we can't see all the way on this side of her arm just because it's more of a three quarter turn. So we're seeing a little less of this body over here. So what we're going to do from her chest, we're gonna go up and give her more of a, like a little defined to her, her arm. Round off this part of her arm. I never know if they're triceps or biceps. <laughs> <laughs> and then bring down this side of her arm. Make her forearm a little bit more angular. Go into her wrist. And here she is holding a web. So I'm gonna go up and make this part of her fist first, which is her thumb curving into her fist. And I'm gonna bring down this part of her finger. It's her four, it's her, it's her pointer finger. And then the middle finger is gonna round down. Ring finger is gonna round down. And then the pinky's going to round down. Bring down the side of her fist and then go into the rest of it. So she's holding on to her web. Clear up the guidelines so you guys can see that a little bit better. So her thumb is going into her fist. Her pointer finger is overlapping her thumb. And then the rest of her fingers are kind of hanging off to the side. And she's got her web and the rest of it 
and it's actually going. We're going to start over here with the web, go around. I'm going to go on the other side of her wrist, and then go back in. And there's her web. Now for the pink spider web on her costume, it's gonna go towards the middle of her forearm, so it's not completely off to, into the middle. But I'm gonna bring this in towards the middle, go in, so it's kind of turning into an hourglass. Go to the point over here, and then you're gonna go down and bring down this part of her arm, bring down this part of her arm, so then we're gonna go ahead and create the web. So it's gonna go in, go up. And you see I'm curving once again, go up. This way. Cause we're going in a different direction than we were at the other arm. All right, so let's come to the costume part of her chest. So it's gonna go from her chest, we're gonna go up, make a point, and then go down. So you see I curve inwards and go to the middle part of her chest, then go up. So we curve inwards. Bring this down and then curve to go to her back. And we're just going to accent her chest a little by making this line right here. This is all black, but the rest of her is a white costume in pink. All right. So then from her chest going downwards, her chest, her rib cage goes out a little and then down. And then you have this part right here. And then you're gonna bring down this side. Curve. Going to make this flat for her thigh and then bring down this side, nice and flat. And then this side's gonna go flat. Leg first, you're gonna go out with the flatness, very angular muscles, go to her knee, make it angular here, angular here. Curve inwards. And then go in towards the middle. And then this part from behind her knee is actually gonna swoop downwards. Go in. And then this part of her leg, we're actually gonna bring her foot, like the actual sole of her ballet shoe, go under. Keep rounding it out. And then we're gonna go from the heel of the sole of her ballet slipper. Go in. And go up. And then I'm gonna jump behind right here. Bring down the other part of her ballet slipper. have this ribbon here so we're gonna make like a little triangle here so we don't really see much of her ankle because her leg is tucked up right underneath her thigh so we have this part of her ribbon this ribbon part and then this ribbon part there's her ballet slippers so back to this thigh over here so this is nice and flat. And the 
legs, parts going into her thigh. So underneath her thigh, you're gonna round it from the kneecap, round it, go in and connect. And then from her kneecap, you're gonna go up and down. And then from underneath her thigh, it's gonna go in and then really big calf goes out, round out the calf. This is nice and flat. And then you're gonna make her pointed foot really, really, really flat. And so let's start from right here, from her shoe. You're gonna go in and curve to the heel. top part of her foot, that ribbon, a ribbon towards her ankle and another ribbon on top. And there is how to draw Gwen Stacy from Into the Spider-Verse by Sony Animation. I hope you guys will all go and see the new movie. Make sure that you check out the Miles Morales tutorial that I put up last week. Hope you guys like this and have a most wonderful day. Bye! Oh, Happy New Year!